Hey everybody, GDC 2009 is officially underway and one of the big new reveals going on today is Battlefield Bad Company 2. I'm joined by Patrick Bach from DICE right now and he's going to tell us about it. So Patrick, you just finished guiding us through a demo over there and it looks like one of the big new things going on in the game is it's a lot more intense and dramatic than the first game, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's one of our big focuses of the game. We're trying to you know, give it more variation and you know, upping the intensity of the game in general. Uh, we're still keeping a lot of things that were really good with Bad Company 1, but what we're adding is the more intense sections of the game. Okay. So that sense of humor that was sort of a trademark of the original game, is that going to remain intact for the second one? Of course. We, we wouldn't remove something that worked. So. so what are some of the ways, can you give us some examples that you're trying to make the game more dramatic and intense? Uh, well, one of the things that we're doing is we're trying to make it feel more military in a way, so you can actually feel more presence of that you know the vehicles and the weapons look and feel more realistic this time around uh, we will also also see that you know the whole how the game renders and everything will look and feel more realistic uh, but we're still keeping a lot of the you know the the warmth and the uh, you know the the personality of bad company one now one of the other trademarks of the first game was the destruction engine where you could just blow out entire walls and entire buildings just to pieces. Uh, what sort of improvements have you guys made to that system this time around? Yeah, so we, we think that you know, the destruction we had in Bad Company 1 was really groundbreaking. We spent a lot of time finding the right balance so it can actually work from a tactical standpoint. What we're doing this time around is that we're building what we call ba Destruction 2.0. Uh, what that means is that we actually make sure that you can take down full houses and big constructions. Uh, and we're also adding micro-destruction, which means that you can ship off small pieces of, for instance, a cover. So the destruction will be both bigger and smaller this time around. So the demo that you showed us, it took place in this snowy mountain environment. It looks like it was near the Russian border. Uh, it didn't, didn't really see much snow in the first game. Is this a uh, different terrain? Is that one of the big goals for you guys? Yeah, it's, it's back to the variation. We want to add as much variation to the game as, as possible. Uh, the setting you saw now was snow. There are, of course, more settings than this that will be in the game, but that I won't tell about right now. Anything you can tell us about new weapons or vehicles we can find in the game? Uh, no, not really. We're not revealing any news on what vehicles and what weapons we have in the game right now. That will be later. That will be later? Okay, and you mentioned that uh, we're going to learn about multiplayer sometime around E3, right? Yeah, around E3 we will have a, have a proper multiplayer demo to show more variation in, in locations, but also talk more about game modes and, and what new features we have for multiplayer. All right, Patrick. Well, it sounds good. When should we expect to see it in stores, and uh, which systems are we going to see it available on? So the game Battlefield by Company will be available for PC this time around, uh, together with Xbox 360 and PS3, of course. And it will be uh, released around uh, next winter. All right, Patrick, thanks a lot. So that does it for Bad Company 2, but stay tuned. We should have more on it in the next few months.